a lot of it was dispelling some famous myths that tend to surround investments, such as upcoming Brexit and you know other geopolitical issues and whether they matter or not. And really, the if you look at all the investment. Um, uh, data, it leads you to believe that none of that really matters. I mean, you just think recently as to the Brexit vote. You know, the Brexit vote took place on the 23rd of June in 2016, and since then, the FTSE 100 is up 25%. Uh, so, just a clear example of why you would imagine that things would be really bad, but in terms of investment, things have been very good, regardless of the geopolitical stress. Some of the things I covered today actually was a similar, were similar examples to that, showing going throughout history and showing that all the geopolitical stress in the world doesn't really tend to matter to markets in the short term at all. So you've said that geopolitics doesn't matter sometimes as much as we might think it would. What are the factors that do need to be taken into consideration? Beyond you know, everything, the one most important factors is the macro regime that we're in. Okay, at a very uh, high level cyclical basis, right? So at the moment, we still are, while the economies around the globe are slowing, they're still, they're still reasonably buoyant. Okay, they're still positive. We're nowhere close to a recession, really anywhere. And I think that is an important factor to keep in mind that actually the underlying fundamentals are reasonably okay. Unemployment is very low, wages are rising, etc. And that is quite devoid from the geopolitical noise that you see. So, so the macro regime is okay. Uh, perhaps most important is also is valuation. And that is simply the price you're paying for risk in terms of you know price to earnings ratios, things of that nature. And even there, we're reasonably neutrally positioned. Uh, the markets are not very expensive; they're not very cheap. But the thing is that 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 picture looks okay as well. Long story short, macro is reasonable, valuations are reasonable, momentum is positive. Is this a time to, to cut risk? No, this is a time to stay risk on.